Have you ever pondered over the fascinating world of plant reproduction? How do these stationary life forms ensure their survival through generations? Today, we delve into the intriguing process of pre-fertilization in plants. In the world of plants, reproduction is a grand event, and it all begins with the formation of the reproductive structures. Plants, unlike animals, have unique reproductive parts located in their flowers. The male reproductive organ is the stamen, made up of the anther and filament which produce pollen grains. On the other hand, the female reproductive organ is the pistil, composed of the stigma, style, and ovary where ovules are formed. The first step in the pre-fertilization process is game to genesis. This is where the game truly begins. In game to genesis, the male and female gametes, or sex cells, are formed. The pollen grains in the anther develop into male gametes, while the ovules in the ovary mature into female gametes. Once the gametes are formed, we move on to the next step, gamete transfer. This is where nature's creativity truly shines. Since plants are immobile, they rely on external agents for gamete transfer. These agents can be anything from wind, water, to even insects and animals. The pollen grains carrying the male gametes are transferred from the anther of one flower to the stigma of another. This process is known as pollination. The transferred pollen grains then germinate on the stigma, giving rise to a pollen tube that grows down the style and into the ovary. This pollen tube carries the male gametes towards the female gametes located in the ovules, and thus the stage is set for fertilization. To summarize, the pre-fertilization process in plants is a captivating dance of nature. It begins with the formation of the reproductive structures, the stamen and pistil. The first step in the process is gametogenesis, where the male and female gametes are formed. Following this, gamete transfer occurs through pollination, where pollen grains are transferred from one flower to another. Finally, the pollen grains germinate, forming a pollen tube that carries the male gametes towards the female gametes, paving the way for fertilization. The pre-fertilization process showcases the intricate and ingenious ways in which nature ensures the survival and propagation of plant life. It's a testament to the enduring adaptability and resilience of these vital components of our ecosystem. Remember, every lush green forest, every blooming garden, and every single leaf owes its existence to this remarkable process. So, the next time you see a flower, spare a thought for the incredible journey of its creation.